forgot to put a disclaimer. I scratched my back on this. Intermittent in no way do not sponsor this video, but if you all want to, my email is in the description. Wait, why is that so formal? All right, you guys, welcome back. So recently, actually not recently, back in 2019, I went and purchased not one, but two sets of point shoes for, I guess, summer intensive auditions, right? But I mean, with everything going on now, I'm sure auditions will be more open to having brown tights and brown point shoes. But I was so excited because this was the first time that I had ever had point shoes that I didn't have to pancake or dye. Dyeing your point shoes is a hassle. If you ever had to do it, imagine doing that with every single pair, not just for, you know, not just for a performance, but like always. So my shoe, actually, if you see me looking down, I wrote everything down so I wouldn't have to scramble. But the shoe that I have is a SC 10 N4 FDL. So that means it is 10 narrow, four box, feather shank, deep vamp, and low heel, which means that the point shoe is 10 inches lengthwise, four inches in width. It is the feather flex shank. The width is narrow. It has a deep vamp and a low heel. My satin is espresso, which is the darkest shade they have. And on their website, it says, it makes it so much easier to complement a wide range of skin tones. They work well as a base for further customization, but also work for any dancers as is like myself. The retail price for the shoe, and this will be excluding shipping and handling, is $139.99. And we're not gonna go into detail. We all know why it's a little bit more expensive because it lasts longer, which it does. I can attest to that. The ribbon, the espresso ribbon is $449. It is two and a half yards and double face and it's seven eighth of an inch. There is no stretch woman ribbon on the website and that is like, I, I hope they implement that because with my other shoes that I ordered, I ordered stretch ribbon. I prefer stretch ribbon. I have not worn regular ribbon since I was 10 and I recently just had to switch back. I'm 20 now, so I had to switch back because they did not carry it. So make sure y'all implement that soon um, or just some ballet play, play any, just make stretch ribbon because I'm not about to die and make my own. You know, it's 2020 now, so I shouldn't have to go the extra mile for something that should already be out there for me. And the elastic I have is 199. It is 15 inches and three fourths of an inch. I would also say I ran into the problem of not buying enough stretch ribbon, not stretch ribbon, not enough ribbon or elastic in general. This is with any shoe, not just because it's espresso. Both of my orders were custom and on the inside it has my name. The next thing that I got were the point pockets. So I got in a size small and they were four inches wide and three and a half inches long. The price for the point pockets without shipping and handling is $23. It has a crown or a tr, and I love it. The inside has, you can tell there's this, um, you remember wearing jellos. I don't know if you remember when you first got point shoes and they're like, which point pad do you like? And you're like, oh, the softest one possible. This feels like the grown up version of that. It's, it's kind of like that except thinner and I can feel the floor so well. Before then I was wearing the lamb's wool and not just lamb's wool where you pack it in the shoe. I'm talking about the lamb's wool toe pad and it's not too thick. If you get large, uh, because they were suggesting, oh, you should get a large. And I was like, if it covers most of the shoe, then I won't be able to roll through. And that's what happened. So I got a smaller size and they are just amazing. I have not washed them yet. I, it's coming, yes. I have not washed them yet. And let's see, I've had these for a year and they do not stink at all, like whatsoever. Like, and I've sweated in these a couple times. So I don't know if that's what the technology that they're using and the color is just, oh, the color, it matches my nails. Amazing. And my toenails too. And the things I used to sew was the dual duty thread. It says, I don't know what these numbers are for, but hopefully they can help you if you're trying to purchase the same. This thread complements this fabric. It's literally the exact same color and the needle that i used i went out and bought some heavy duty needles and they still could not get through this fabric but when you find the right needle for this it will go right through 
So the needle that I used and that has been my tried and true is the one from the Stitch Kit by Bunheads. And plus this um, thread is really good for their shoes as well. It's very strong, love it. And the needle that they have is about, about two and a half inches and it's really thick. It's not gonna break like the other one almost did when I was sewing this shoe. So that will be all for this video. I uh, hope I'll see you in the next one and okay.